Hello, my name is Roland Jung. I'm with Rital and ePlan and just want to show you how ePlan and Rital can be a very strong partner for you in your engineering, in your sourcing and manufacturing, and even in the operations cycle. Of course, when we talk about this life cycle here, uh, projects can become quite complex and you need to collaborate with a lot of people out there. Now, within EPAN, we have something called the element collaboration. It's uh, sometimes included in your package, in your system, sometimes it's not. Let me uh, distinguish a little bit what these four things are. The EPLAN revision management included inside EPLAN. A uh, little bit like a protection for any kind of change that may be uh, done in a specific project. The EPLAN project management, which is more like a a vault that will look at all the projects you have within your environment. The ePlan change of standard uh, is an interesting topic when you collaborate on different norms and different standards. Uh, here I'm thinking about switching, for instance, something that was originally created in IEC and switch it over to an FTA. So the uh, ePlan change of standard will help me there. And of course, the multi-language translation, which is also quite nice when you have to work and deal with multiple languages. So let's start with the first one, revision management. So technically, a project that has been tagged uh, a revision is now protected. So when you do a change, any kind of change you do, let's say we go in here and we want to look at a specific text and we want to change that text here. This is a multilingual text. And sometimes it's interesting because the multi-language uh, allows you to actually type in for multi-language properties to type in a different, uh, so this is different languages or different text for the different languages. For instance, here, if you want to use the word lifter in English, this might be lifter. But in, um, in, in Spanish, it's elevador. Uh, in German, it's heber, etc. Right. And of course, once you pick that word uh, as, as you have it here, you just save it. All these different languages can then be displayed. This is actually what the multi language allows you to do. So technically behind the scene here, you can see lifter and preleveur. And this is actually based on the project setting here within the translations, you can specify within here, what language do you wish to use, generally speaking, and on the other side for a specific project, in this particular case, this project here, what is the <coughs> displayed language? So if you only want to see one language at the time, you can put one language and everything turns into this one language. So remember, this was lifter. Uh, we can check out different pages like the title page. <clears throat> we'll see here, everything is now in English. I can go to a table of content. Everything is now in English. If I switch it over and I say, let's do this now, this project, let's show the French language. Uh, let's add either the French language as a second language or eliminate all in all the English. We will see now that it's table des matières. Uh, on the front page, it's Société, Description du Projet, Commission. All the words that were translated, like our lifter here, is actually now set to that different language. Now, you can also see that because I did a change and because I actually um, changed the text, this page here turned into draft mode. Now, not too many pages were actually turned into draft mode, only this one page. And if I want to uh, specify down here at the bottom what I actually did, I can just close or complete that page. So what I do is I select the page itself. I say here, complete pages. Now, some of you may not have that icon here in the quick ribbons because I like to use it on a common base to tag my pages. So I go here to my quick access very quickly, look for the complete page and I just add it inside my quick ribbons. So this way, the complete page is actually what helps me to tag this page and to tell it what did I do. So it's the fifth index, so it's the fifth change I did on this page. 
and I added the function text for lifter. Okay, now sometimes you have a reason for this request and then there is an RFI here or a number that is put in here. In my case, I'm not using it necessarily. And there we go. What happens down at the bottom here, it actually bumped the other changes down. And here with my index number five, I added the function text, the date, and my name is actually registered right away. Plus it has in this revision management, it has a revision overview where on this page here, you can see, okay, page number X, Y, Z, that was a page 17. I added the function text uh, for the lifter. So anyone can see all the changes that were actually made during the process while it was protected by this revision management. So it's really a cool feature to, to keep. Plus, you can take this project and uh, lock it down uh, so that nobody can actually do a change. And the only way to unlock it is to create a new revision. So you have a traceability of all your old revisions. Not to say that there's an interesting thing that came out over the last uh, few months. It's called the ePlan Cloud with its eView. Now, this is an interesting topic because you can now on the eView, you can upload onto eView and you can share this project with whoever you wish and nobody else can see it. So the trick here is that a project, once it's uploaded here to the uh, eView, uh, what really happens here is that one can actually decide who can see it and who cannot see it. So this is more interesting, I believe, than any PDF you send out there in the world. And anyone can dump it to anyone he wants or share it with anyone he wants. Here, you have full control. And the users you actually invite to come and see this project will receive an email. And once they receive that email, they can just go on the ePlan cloud like this ePlan cloud right you can just go here ePlan cloud you find the ePlan cloud perfect open something <clears throat> there we go and this ePlan.com cloud allows you to log in and to jump on that eView in that same project that I uploaded which I actually gave permission to a certain number of people I can open and now I can see it exactly the same way as I see it inside ePlan with exactly the same title pages, the same uh, schematics, the same uh, text. Everything is exactly the same. And if I want to redline something, I can even without having ePlan, I can actually add some redlining text. And this could actually, you were asking me earlier, you know, if sometimes you have a reason, well, while I was talking about reasons, this is basically the, let's say the lifter text. I could have done this before I did it in ePlan. I could have actually asked someone to do this action of adding a function text to the first motor. And the idea behind the scene here is to actually help you communicate with people out there because this redlining that you see here is automatically transmitted to ePlan. Now, this automatic transmission into ePlan uh, allows the users in ePlan to be quicker without really having to look at their emails or whatever else. And it gives you full control of who actually sees it. It's a little bit part of this environment of sharing the, the data, uh, not necessarily include part of the revision management, but when you handle revision management in ePlan, it's a very nice feature to combine together with the revision management of ePlan. Because of course, any change you will make here, every time you do something, and it doesn't matter what you do, is automatically tagged as a drafted page and you have to comment it. Okay, so that's really cool. So we saw very quickly what the translation module does and what the revision management does. I haven't shown you the project management and I'm not gonna extend too much on this. This is really an overview of all the projects you have in your environment. It's a database where you can organize different things on multiple projects. You can uh, um, have some, some extra features here 
to 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 have global editing on multiple projects is, is really a cool feature it's more like a, a project management overall look of all your projects that have been done for specific customers or a specific environment so it's it's really a, a nice overview uh, a management it says project management of how your projects work and uh, on the other side the last but not least this is an interesting feature I looked up the engineering data. Engineering data is actually something that you can see here on the ePlan Cloud. If I go back here on the ePlan Cloud, you will see it. Anyone can actually go on the ePlan Cloud. And if you're an ePlan customer, we have uh, pulled out this new engineering standard, uh, which allows you to, and let me just discover here the download section here, will allow you to discover tons of samples uh samples like the one i'm just gonna uh, attack here is a rockwell siemens uh specific plc project i actually looked at this rockwell controls logic project and when i downloaded it i actually saw that it was and here let's focus on some of you may know this interactive pages are actually then the schematic pages right only so here are the schematic pages with all the overviews here is a, a network overview profinet nothing really special about that one but when i get to schematics i look at these schematics and i clearly recognize ic symbols and ic directions so what i actually did is i took this project went through the tool here that is called here exchange change of standard okay and what i ended up with is basically just go by going through this wizard here is with this project here now the difference in this project here same structure of course some of these uh items are very similar you know like the network overview we just happen to rotate this that's cool but when we get to the schematic pages you will recognize we have north american symbols now you can see here these breakers right and we rotated every single schematic to fit our two ladder process now interesting because now i can use these macros and look at these macros one by one and i can start using it in my north american standard so this is why it's also called here the change of standard and it's actually quite easy to to uh to work with um just ask your people but it's, it's a cool feature because you you can translate pretty much the ic um projects into an nfpa project uh renumber your device tags according to your pattern that they have here in north america and when you show these types of schematics now here in north america to the nfpa people they recognize themselves right so there isn't really much to you have to 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 touch or readdress in some cases you may have to move here and there some 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 items because um in, in, in your particular display you prefer having them a different way but it's quite stunning how precise the information comes out and how easy it is to read although it flipped and rotated the whole thing so what i just showed you here is this very last aspect of our collaboration which is the change of standard right so this was a resume from roland jung from ePlan Canada to show you what the element collaboration brings you, included in the Pro Panel Professional System, included in the Electric P8 Professional System, but it can be added, as you can see here, as an option to the Select Package here. So the Select Electric P8 Package System can add the collaboration. Quite interesting to actually add this one to your package because then you have a true CAE system. Thank you. This was Roland Junk from here, ePlan and Retalma.